Little Brunch, we always love to introduce you to new fun restaurants, which leads us to our first guests. Ben Dates and John Seymour are the chefs and creative minds behind New York City's fast, casual restaurants, Num Pang Kitchen and Sweet Chick. Here to tell us more about their Num Chick collaboration is Ben Dates and John Seymour. Hey, what's, what's up? up? <laughs> How you doing? I'm great, I'm great. How you Thanks guys? for joining <laughs> us. So tell us about your new project, Num Chick. Go ahead, so, <laughs> um, you know, we both have restaurants in New York. We're both originally from New York. Um, and we kind of connected a while back, just really just like, you know, we grew up in the city, so, <clears throat> you know, we have a lot of things in common. And, you know, we've been talking, we're both running restaurants. It's obviously a crazy business. Um, Intense. And I think the last thing to happen was we realized, like, Oh, oh, shit, we should definitely do a collab. <laughs> totally. Um, yeah. So this is what we brought today for you guys. Awesome. So what do we have here? So it's a take on our, our fried chicken sandwich. Mm. And then... So we topped it with our uh, five <laughs> spice glazed pork belly with a little Asian slaw and some chili mayo. Obviously for that summer bod. Wow. Um, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fried is this weekend, okay? This is yeah, just like meat right. on meat. It's just like glorious. It's like my favorite thing. Yeah. It's meat on meat. So yeah. when we tested it out last week, we were like, you know, it was the first time we tested it. Um, I took a bite. It's bomb. Oh my God. Yeah. That is so That's good. awesome. And okay. we're only going to be serving it for a week, but it's, it, Why? it might, it might yeah. actually be a problem. Like, I think people are really going to be mad if they come and they don't have it. So. Right. Ooh, that's right. a great technique. Making people angry really sells it. Yeah, 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 I know. You know, I've been doing it my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> it's what they did with the McRib, and it works. You yeah. Know? yeah, exactly. Make it yeah. exclusive. Yeah. McRib. Yeah. What is I it like to own and operate like one of these fast, casual, fun restaurants in New York City? I mean, it's pretty intense. Uh, we, we celebrate our 10th year this year. And right. um, thank Woo! you. And um, like, like John was saying, we're just a couple of city kids that, that get, fell in love with food and brought like our spirit of New York to our separate enterprises. Um, you know, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. It's fun. It's a lot of Is fun. Is that your quote? Or? My quote. Uh, I think it's your quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and on that note, I'm going to drop some facts for the audience here. Whoa. 80%. Of new restaurants in New York City closed yeah. after a year. First year. First year. So mm -hmm. it is a testament to you guys. You've now been 10 years, multiple years. So what is that experience like now? You just kind of mentioned it, surviving in New York City for now or a decade. It is an extremely tough business. Um, Sweet Chick will be celebrating six years in mm. February. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we also have a location in Los Angeles, um, which is kind of crazy. But... Uh, it's 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 extremely tough, but it's it's definitely a testament to see a, a brand. I mean, it's heartbreaking to me to see anybody put their like passion right. into something and then see it close. It's like uh, it, it's like one of the worst thing feelings I can get. But um, yeah, it's amazing, man. I mean, again, we're, we're you know we're city guys. We grew up here in Manhattan, so it's like it's also it's kind of just to just to jump in. It's yeah. a little different. What we've created is like sort of from the ground up, not to throw any shade on some of these other <laughs> brands, but a lot of people come to New York with like a big check right. and they're like, oh, yeah. let's open 10 at a time, right? We, we started off in 200 square feet in an old car rental office and we've now have seven locations. This is a different thing, so. Yeah. And we love dynamic duos. How did this <laughs> friendship come to be? Like, did you guys meet? out one day just cooking chicken? Like, what was it? I mean, interestingly, like, both being city guys, we didn't know each other growing up. I had to leave the city for other reasons. And we came back. We were both in the same business. Same, you know, we love hip-hop music. It, I think it, um, just growing up in the city kind of um, is in both of our operations. And, you know, like John was saying, be, being able to commiserate with somebody yeah. right, <laughs> is, is super important. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'd say, like, I, I didn't really, you know, I don't come from a, a restaurant background, mm -hmm. per se. Um, you know, I learned a lot from Google. So it's like whenever I can find someone. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I love yeah, the just internet. Just how yeah. to make restaurants. Yeah, how to make yeah. a restaurant. Yeah. Just look it up. See, I told um, Allie that Google.com is a great website. She didn't believe me. <laughs> oh, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> now so, I'm sold. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of unique when you can find somebody that is, is kind of doing ver something very similar. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, you can bounce it off each other. And, right. and it's, it's definitely like, you know, we'll go to lunch and it's almost like a psychiatrist meeting in right. a way, you know, because it's like, you know, it's hard to really speak with the people you're working with because if you're technically the boss of the company, it's right. kind of a weird dynamic. So um, it's kind of dope and obviously the similarities. So before we met and we've definitely had lunch many times and right. it's like we really didn't even think like, and so I think Ben was like, yo, we should do a, a, like a collab. Right. 
And I was like, yeah, that makes a Best in both sense. worlds, right? Yeah. It's like Jay-Z yeah. and Kanye West coming together. Yeah. yeah. Collab. yeah. yeah. Like, like, how did you album. guys collab? Like, did you go into a kitchen and you're just like, this is my sandwich, this is my sandwich, you just smushed them together? Like, I mean, honestly, like, like yeah. he's known for his fried chicken, and our number one seller is the pork belly, yeah. so literally. <laughs> so you just were like, mm, yeah, we, kind of just, we smushed them. And we'll <laughs> smushed like, the meat. You know? Gotta do it, baby. Right. So. so tell us more about the atmosphere of your restaurants and, you know, how you connect with your guests through music and art and just like the whole ass vibe. Good. Yeah, I mean, I would say like for Sweet Chick, for example, um, you know, we're known for chicken and waffles. That's like our thing. Um, and chicken and waffles started in New York. So I, I, I heard this story about how chicken and waffles started in the jazz clubs in the 1920s. Um, so it was really kind of spawned around music. Um, and then my love for music, my staff's love for music. Um, after I opened the second restaurant, we actually, you know, I did a live performance. I had Raekwon from Wu-Tang come through and he performed at the bar, like surprise. Um, <laughs> Eventually met one of my favorite artists of all time, Nas, who's now mm. my business partner, who wow. invested in the Sweet Chick. And, you know, since then we've really, you know, music is just, an, it, it, it across the board is really ingrained in what we do. Um, and it's really from the birth of Chicken Waffles from the jazz scene. So it's like, you know, my jazz scene was hip hop in the, in the 90s growing up in New York. So it's like, you know, we... You come in on a Sunday, it's going to be like an R&B Sunday. It's like we were just listening to R&B in the back. And it's like, <laughs> you'll come to Sweet Chick on a Sunday afternoon and like SWV is pumping Ooh. and like everybody is just vibing. Okay. Um, so it's really experiential and the music really kind of helps helps do that. So, oh. Man, that's a much better story than, than <laughs> one that I have to tell. I'm like, I have no Nas, Raekwon. <laughs> um, again, for me, it was just, first, it was all about the food, making sure that was just totally... Um, right where I wanted it to be. And then it was creating a place where I wanted to hang out. And so having an iconic graffiti mural that sort of shouts out the neighborhood, yeah. having the soundtrack of the 90s in the background, and people are liking it. So, yeah. yeah. Well, Ben and John, thank you so much for joining us. This really was a pleasure. Thank you for the food. Yeah. Make sure to check out both <laughs> Numb Pink Chick Kitchen and Sweet Chick here in New York City.